Great wars of the United States all have monuments, and now those who've served in some more recent battles have theirs as well. Craig Herrera has more from Camp Pendleton in California. It's a photo that captured the world and went viral. It was taken in 2004 in Fallujah, Iraq. On the right is Chris Marquez. Uh, we went across the, uh, I guess you call it like a kill zone, the kill zone, and one by one we pulled out the people in the room, and one of them happened to be started Major Castle, and that's how the picture was taken. That picture has been replicated as a life-size monument called No Man Left Behind. It's a terrifying picture of somebody who almost died. Lucian Reed was a freelance photographer who snapped the photo. But they respond to the, of course, to the heroism of it and the moment of it. And so I've always, I've always tried to support their interpretation of it. John Phelps made the sculpture. It was a labor of love. He's a Vietnam veteran. It took him one year to complete the project. Bradley Castle has his, his, his pistol in one hand and the K-bar knife in the other. I mean, that's... That's a powerful statement right there. You know, that, that's, that's a Marine coming out the door they're bringing out. This had special meaning to Phelps because his son was a Marine who was killed in action in 2004. Um, I know he'd be proud. And this has special meaning today. It was actually 10 years ago that the photograph was taken. The sculpture will welcome visitors to the Wounded Warrior Battalion at Camp Pendleton. Definitely an honor to, to sculpt a, a monument to heroes and to the Marine Corps. It was a time in my life that I'm proud and I'll do it a thousand times over with.